Good afternoon. Uh, first off, I would like to thank IHID for providing uh, AED's opportunity to share our experiences. Uh, AED, uh, Academy for Educational Development, it's a non-profit organization working in about 150 countries around the world. Um, AED Satellite Center for Health Information and Technology, that's where I work, one of the 26 centers of AED. Uh, it specializes on the use of ICT for, for health. And um, it, it was the first email provider in Africa using low uh, Earth orbit satellites, LEO satellites in the early 1990s. Um, and then as uh, the use of internet, uh, the ubiquity of internet um, be, become progressing, uh, we moved to other emerging technologies in 2003. We, we started using, 2002 actually, we started using PDS uh, in Ghana, in um, Uganda, and uh, in Kenya for uh, immunization health survey and uh, for the delivery of uh, content, health information, especially on uh, uh, A to Z, I mean the drug, drug databases. So the continuum of technologies uh, began with the um, launching of uh, two satellites in 1989 and 1990. Uh, and uh, in 2007, we developed a gathered data, a platform uh, which is used for uh, data collection on cell phones uh, and guide its uh, content uh, management uh, application for uh, mobile devices. So today I'll share with you two examples where we have used um, uh, mobile applications for uh, specifically for health education. Uh, the first one, Mobile Health Information System, uh, MHIS project, which was implemented in the Eastern Cape province here in South Africa, and the Uganda Health Information Network, which was implemented in five districts in Uganda. Uh, so the first project, the MHIS, it's a collaborative, private, public uh, partnership. Uh, it involves very, very dedicated uh, implementing and funding partners, including the uh, Eastern Cape Department of Health, um, and uh, it was under the leadership of Dr. <laughs> Pile and his staff. Um, AED was the lead implementing agency, and Qualcomm, through its wireless reach program, uh, Henry, Henry Niles Foundation, it's a um, um, foundation in, based in Connecticut in the US, uh, the Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University, based in Port Elizabeth, uh, South Africa partners and MTN South Africa. Um, it was implemented in uh, the Port Elizabeth Hospital complex, which comprises three big hospitals, uh, Dora Ginza, uh, Livingston, and Provincial. Uh, it has close to 1,000 nurses in those three hospitals uh, and uh, hundreds of doctors, and so it's a fairly big complex. Um, and um, the objective was to develop a mobile health library and deliver this mobile library to nurses to improve their practice. Uh, we used smartphones for the delivery of health information. And the reason we used smartphones um, uh, was because it required a fairly large amount of resources or computing power. Um, it's uh, several thousands and thousands of pages on paper, probably about 6,000, 7,000 pages. Um, uh, that was loaded into the, the smartphones, and that simply is not possible on the ordinary small cell phones. Um, the overall framework is very simple. Um, on the uh, handheld, on, on the smartphone, there is a handheld mobile library it was loaded. Uh, it was loaded into the um, device memory, it's the internal memory of the device, and also it was made available on SD cards. So it's independent of the availability of a cellular network. And um, um, using the SD cards, it could be loaded on into as many uh, uh, smartphones as possible, uh, are, are available. Uh, we use it to smartphones that have a Windows operating platform, but it can also work on BlackBerry, we have tested it. Uh, it can work on um, Symbian, it can work on um, uh, Android phones as well. So that's what, what we call the static content, which is um, always there on the, on the device. And the dynamic content is something which is broadcast or sent to the users based on their imaging needs. Uh, they may, for example, 
uh, when there was a swine flu uh, threat. Um, there were requests coming from the health workers that they want information on the treatment and the diagnosis of swine flu. And that information was available with WHO Afro, and that was, we were able, we were, we were able to broadcast that information to the nurses. So both static and dynamic uh, contents are important, were important in this project. And um, the content, selection of content is very, very important that it's uh, deeply grounded on the interests and on the needs and the priorities of the health workers. To determine this, we conducted a needs assessment survey involving about 750 nurses in the complex. Uh, and they were asked what their priorities were and based on that survey, uh, we tried to um, identify the content which must be part of the mobile health library. And uh, it's very important that content is from local sources in as much as possible. Uh, and we, the content that we had for the clinical library, for the health library, was primarily drawn from the Department of Health Resources. Uh, and focus on just-in-time information for use at point of care. By just-in-time information, what I mean is the information that they need at the point of care, for example, for making clinical decisions, for uh, treatment guidelines, something that they would need it right at the spot. Um, um, as opposed to um, what I call just-in-case information, which could be like books, sometimes something which they could keep, which are very important, uh, but which are being uh, 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 held, you know, just in case they need that information. So we focus it on just in-time information that's used as a point of care. Um, most of the uh, information was available in different formats, um, some of it on paper, but most of it in PDF or in Word. Um, so uh, we must establish a mechanism for converting those large documents into uh, a format which is suitable for the mobile devices. So the guide uh, application which uh, Satellite developed is uh, for document conversion and management and it converts long documents to mobile format. Uh, and uh, the graphic elements, this is usually a challenge. You, you have graphs and charts and tables and uh, maintaining those uh, formats um, without losing them and being able to see them, view them in a way which is meaningful on the device was a challenge. So we were able to overcome that by uh, using guide. Um, training and uh, user support, it's a very key component. Uh, they, they were trained for two days, uh, but that was followed by um, successive refresher trainings, especially for the first six months, this is extremely important. Uh, and user technical support, we followed a three-tier user support model. Uh, at the first tier was peer-to-peer -peer support uh, and in, to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer support uh, among the users. Uh, they were meeting every week uh, at each of the hospitals in the presence of the uh, information technology or IT officers of the hospitals and uh, they would share their experiences and troubleshoot problems. If they cannot resolve it uh, within, uh, among themselves, the IT officers received at each hospital advanced training and they were providing the, the support. And on the third tier, um, if it was major issue, it would be AED or MTN, who was the provider for uh, the cellular services. Um, this is what, well, this, these are a few screenshots from the, the mobile library. The first uh, is the home page. Uh, it acknowledges who the partners are, uh, but the content was categorized into eight major categories. Uh, so they would click on the content that they would want to read and, uh, um, and then it would take them to another menu uh, and then they keep on reading. Um, this will be, there will be a, a demonstration of this system um, uh, by Qualcomm. They have a booth on the ground floor on Hall 3. So tomorrow and uh, Wednesday, it will be demonstrated and they are uh, most welcome to, to see what it looks like on the mobile device, which was actually used um, uh, for the project. Um, I also have some, uh, a two-pager uh, that I have several copies and you are very welcome to take some.